I'm at a place called Plimbridge Woods today. Uh, I've never been here before and yet it's really close to where I live. Apparently I am there. We've got some, uh, we've got some gorgeous light today. Uh, it's quite windy, so the clouds are moving pretty fast. So the light comes and goes. But when it's, when we get the light, it's pretty, pretty stunning. And this place is absolutely carpeted. Let me show you. Carpeted in bluebells and those beautiful white flowers. I don't know what they are. Look. Right, I'm going to try and get a shot of the uh, of the bridge here. Oh, something to me light. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a shot of the bridge. Um, the problem with it is there's obviously some work going on here. You can see there, there's all those like bags of rubbish and that fence and everything. And uh, we've got those ladders over there. There's steps, I mean, whatever they are. And there's another kind of barrier there, look. Don't want that in there. Whereas from here, I can frame the shot without the steps. I'm still going to get that in there. Can't avoid that. Whatever that is. Hopefully I can clone that out get rid of it and post. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. Right, I am um, set up ready to take my shot. Um, I've just got to wait for the photo bomber to disappear. There's somebody standing up on the bridge staring straight at me. You can see what I'm doing. They're just standing there staring at me. And I'm not going to take the picture until they move. And if necessary, I'll abandon the picture and come back here later. I know what they want me to do, but I'm not going to do it. into the wood uh, hopefully to get away from all the crowds and the dog walkers and what have you um, see what I can find down here right I framed a nice shot up here which is basically we've got this canal that leads up and under the bridge right down into the gate there and we've got the wall and then we've got this fence that leads along also into the bridge and the path. So everything about this shot leads you into the bridge, which is the focal point of the shot. And also we've got some nice trees either side and they sort of arc over like so, making a nice frame for the shot. So yeah, as soon as there are no people, I'll do it. What is it about photographers and people? We just hate people, don't we? It's awful, isn't it? Dreadful, dreadful people we are. We just hate everybody. But uh, they got at least as much right as me to be here, if not more. Because they got dogs and stuff. All I've got is a camera.
really is beautiful down here today. But the sun's quite uh, it's really bright now. The light's really strong now. Yeah, I'm just uh, just wandering through these woods, trying to find anything that's going to catch my eye, take a photograph of, and uh, whilst at the same time I'm trying to avoid people. It's not easy in a place like this. Uh, when this place was recommended to me, it didn't tell me that there'd be quite so many people here. There's a lot. really is quite beautiful uh, in here in this woodland but uh, finding compositions is very difficult because although it's beautiful to look at lush new green leaves and foliage on everything everywhere you look and bluebells everywhere and ferns which is all very beautiful. But it makes it really hard to photograph because uh, it's just, I mean, look, let me just look here. Oh. You just can't see through to get any kind of order through anything. Having said that, this part of the river looks quite interesting. So I'm going to get down here and uh, have a look. Right, I've got my uh, I've got my shot framed up. I'm taking a couple of test shots. It looks really nice. Uh, but at the moment, I've got a bit of a problem. There, look. There's the problem. And it looks like they're not moving in time soon. But uh, my camera's set up down there. Got the camera quite low. Yeah, as soon as, uh, as, soon as the scene is clear, I'll take the shot. The way the light's hitting the white foam on the water, it's just beautiful. I've uh, I found a composition here which I quite like. I love the way the base of this tree is all twisted and it's got all these crevices and everything in it. This beautiful moss and some ferns and stuff growing out of it. And then it goes kind of goes up and then over and then all the branches on the end over the water. I love that. I really like that. So I'm going to grab that shot. So I've got it framed up. I'm just waiting for the light. Because when, when the sun comes through, it really makes it pop. So uh, definitely going to wait until uh, I get the best light possible for this shot.
Well, that was uh, Plimbridge Woods. Beautiful place. A lot of people, and as you can see, I'm quite impatient. <laughs> I know, I shouldn't be really. I've got no more right to be here than anybody else. But uh, I'm sure other photographers will be able to relate that uh, when you've the lights perfect and you framed your shot and you've got everything ready and then somebody just stands right in the middle oh it's just so frustrating you're watching the light come and go yeah frustrating anyway that's it from here thank you very much for watching subscribe give me a like I really appreciate that uh, leave some comments. I love answering all your comments and reading everything. Um, see you next time.